Hello everyone, Mobile Philosopher here once again. In this video we're going to see how to use keyboard shortcuts in Gmail. The first thing we need to do here is to activate keyboard shortcuts and we're going to do that by going to settings and then we're going to go to general which we're already here and then we're going to scroll down until we hit here keyboard shortcuts. We're going to turn those on then we have to scroll all the way down and press save changes. Now with this what we can do is we can now press shift question mark this will bring out something similar to this which allows us to know what keyboard shortcuts we have. So we have folks main window, send, things like that that are very very useful here when we're doing simple things within Gmail. Here we have select conversation, X, rotate, superstar, remove label, archive, which is going to be a common one, which in this case is an E. And we have move to trash, which is the pound. We're actually going to change this later on. R is reply, F is forward, things like that, that you guys can use to go through and quickly modify things in Gmail here. We have F is forward, things like that. Markers on red, shift I, shift U, things like that that allow us to move around within Gmail in this case. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go out of this and we're going to find out what else can we do here. We're going to close this now and we're going to add a little spice to these keyboard shortcuts so we can use them better. We're going to go into here into settings and we're going to go down to or rather over to labels and here we're going to use the search box and we're going to find keyboard and here we have custom keyboard shortcuts to modify a little bit these shortcuts we're going to enable that and we're going to save changes now even though when I press shift question mark I have these here we're going to change things just a little bit so this is not going to be totally coherent Close this up again, again. And now we go into settings. We're going to find a new tab on the top at the very end, which says keyboard shortcuts that was not there before. We're going to click on this guy, and I have a whole massive amount here that allows me to change everything here. Now, before this move to trash was actually a pound sign, it was something like this. But what I did was I took that out and I'm going to change this now to a B. So it's easier for me to move things to the trash instead of keeping them and having to go find the pound sign, which on some computers you have to use Alt and then a 2 and things like that, which gets a little more complicated. So here I just have to press a B and that will change that. If you see up here, another action that's added is Compose, meaning instead of pressing this button here to compose, all I have to do is press C and I can start composing. Now, this might be a little, look really complicated if you're going to have to relearn how to type again, but believe it or not, making the sacrifice and learning these keyboard shortcuts makes working in Gmail a hundred times better and faster. So let's go down here, and obviously I didn't change anything, so if it was changed, as you might will probably do later on, you would save changes here. So we're going to go back, but as you can see, some of these things, for example, I want to go to the inbox. Well, instead of going all the way over here and grabbing my mouse and going to the inbox, I'm going to leave my mouse exactly the way it is. I'm going to press GI. And as you can see, that brought me right back to the inbox without having to move my mouse around. Again, without moving my mouse, we're going to put my mouse up here so you guys can see it. It's in the search box here. I'm not going to move it. I'm going to press C, and that will open up a new compose box here and I can add people here and then I can press tab and move myself around here I can press all this type of stuff and and I can press enter and keep on going now if I wanted to send this all I do is press tab again and as you can see here there's actually a white lining around the send area here that presents itself that's manifesting that this has been selected and all I have to do now is press enter and it will be sent so I don't have to move my mouse all the way down here. So the tab movement actually goes down. I press tab, tab, and then tab, and again, this send gets grabbed here. 
if I press shift tab, I can actually go back up. So I can go tab to go down and shift tab to go up. So I can move back and forth. So if I go down here, I can press enter and this thing will get sent. Or I can just keep on going through. As you can see, it jumped to the CC after the send. Tab again gives me the BCC. Tab again brings me down to attach files. Tab again brings me to insert more menu. And then the final tab here will bring me to discard. I can press enter and get rid of that. So the tab here is actually very useful when you're trying to move through options. And the shift tab is to go back and forth. Now that we've done all that, I'm actually going to try some others here. If I wanted to, I can go back here and it will tell me over here, GI goes to inbox, GS is starred, GT is sent, GD is drafts, GA is all mail, GC is go to contacts. So if I press escape and get out of here, I can go, for example, to contacts and press GC and that will bring me to my contacts. We have none here, but it makes no difference. I can go back to GI or I can press GT and find out what things have been sent. There's been no sent messages. I can go back to GI or I can go back and let's say I want to uh, fix up my inbox here with my emails. I'm going to press X to select this, E to archive it. I'm going to take the next one, X to select this. I'm going to press B to delete it. And even if I don't select it sometimes, I can press B and it will still delete it. Nope, in this case it isn't. I have to open it. How do I open it? I just press enter and then I can press B and it will delete it for me. So I can actually run through my emails much, much faster than having to use the mouse and going all the places, going here and then going there. And believe it or not, even though it looks like it's not that much of a difference, this adds up at the end of the month or at the end of the year. You can actually save a lot of hours of time not using your mouse and only using your keyboard shortcuts. And the better you master the keyboard shortcuts, the faster you're going to be able to work here to where it becomes automatic as if you were typing an email. So you can actually go through your emails if you were typing them. And it's very, very efficient. So I invite all of you to take a test drive on all of this. See if you can actually get accustomed to some of these things. And let me know in the comments afterwards how you thought it worked. Thank you very much. This is the Mobile Philosopher. Take care.